Hey gents, almost every day you guys give me great recommendations on products and brands I should look at, and this one came up a lot in my uh, Instagram messages because you guys get ads for them as well as I do. This is from Blue Crate, this is called the Tidy Tuck, and I saved the packaging because it's straight from China, I thought that was interesting, but these are a $5 uh, tuck system that you can get with $3 in shipping, so it's $9, and I've worn them a few times. I'll show you how you put them on and then I'll talk a little bit about my experience wearing them. The big thing with these is that not every guy has perfectly fitting shirts that tuck in. Even I have some that are extra long so they stay tucked, but I like to have the tension that keeps them tucked. Otherwise I find myself all day, I'm like tucking and moving and, and shifting things around. It became a habitual as I was wearing dress shirts all the time, but then when I switched to KKNJ shirt tail suspenders, which I did a video on, now I wear those frequently and I don't have to do that anymore and it is great. So this is a cheaper way to solve that. I've worn these a few times and so I'll show you how they come on and then I'll give you my conclusions. So you can see that the shirt is long enough. Like I won't really have a problem keeping it tucked in with my waist up here, but I do like having the functionality of it all being pulled down. Uh, so these are these are actually Whamma underwear and these are hemp made. I'll put a link to them below. I've been liking these a lot, been wearing them the past few weeks. But when you put your shirt on, before you put your pants on, you'll grab the shirt stays here and then you have an adjustment for how long they should be. So these have been adjusted to my leg. And you'll put these, they should be just below your underwear. That way they don't really slide. But then each of these straps is also adjustable. So what I end up doing is these ones are a little bit shorter because the shirt tail is pretty long. And then something like over here, you put this so you need a maximum reach to come up here and then this sits at your leg all day. The thing with these ones is the clips are the same design as my KK and J, but they're just a little too close to get like a substantial shirt in there. And so I can pull it in. Sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, maneuvering, but then you've got that and you tighten that a little bit. Come over here. This one's nice and long. You have to get just past the seam of the shirt, otherwise the material doesn't uh, doesn't fit into the clip. A little too tight. So that's one side. Get the other side on here. The way that you want to position this is you have the front, the middle of the shirt, and the back. And so you want to make sure that these line up that way. So you're basically going to be clipping. Uh, just outside of your thigh there. So you just want to do some small adjustments. Make sure you're going to end up having a nice B line. You don't want to pull it too far to the side. But you can see that, and of course, don't make it too tight. You don't want you don't want this to all be pull down on your shirt. You just want enough that you can freely move about, move your arms up and everything, but your shirt stays in. So I do like to even wear these with uh, denim. You know, I wear, my favorite is to wear them with, you know, beltless trousers uh, because then you do want a nice way to keep them in. But I do have to say they are much, much better than the tucked trunks. Tucked trunks uh, I keep wearing them because I'm hoping to start to like them, but I, I just can't get into them. So you can see, you got a nice look all day. And then just as you move, kind of slides, slides back in. Now the band around the thigh, it does it does shift a little bit during the day, so you have to adjust your tightness based on your comfort. Uh, but I didn't find that it rode up too much just because of the shape of my thighs. Maybe if you uh, don't have very shapely thighs, they might not move, but they're pretty good. A big difference with these versus the normal shirt tail garters is this one does make it more uncomfortable to use the restroom. You do have to detach the two rear ones and then you you know you can just do the back to pull your shirt up but then you have to reattach them afterwards. I found with my other shirt tail garters I was able to move those enough that it wasn't a problem. So that is one key difference from typical shirt tail garters. 
uh, that go down to your socks. So ultimately for $5, these are okay to try out and experiment with. If you like the feeling of having your shirt tucked in and having that tension all the time, then I think it's worth going into the KKJ suspenders because the KKJ ones are made in Brooklyn. They're of higher quality than these here, which is why you pay a little bit more for them. But this helps you get the concept down. And then, uh, you know, the comfort on these around the leg is okay, but it's not nearly as good as going down to your sock. The big thing with the KKJ ones is that they go down to your sock, so they're not just keeping your shirt tucked in, but they're keeping your socks up. I also have the KKJ ones that go around your calf so that you can wear them sockless. And a video is coming there, but it's just small details on these, like the way that these clip to your shirt not being as good as some of the others uh, is why I think it's worth trying out for literally $8.99. Uh, PayPal, and I'll put a link to all this stuff below. I don't, also don't know if the company will continue to offer this around, so uh, if you can't get these after watching the video, let me know so I can like take the video down or, or make a note about it. So that is the Blue Crate Tidy Tuck, and if you guys have any other questions I could try and answer down in the comments, you can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there, and as always, uh, the products that you send me, I consider myself like the crash test dummy for menswear, and I'm happy to try them out. So until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Thank you.